Hey all, just an update on the TouchQ project. Um, this time around I've managed to shrink all the hardware into this tiny custom board here. If you remember from the last video, it was just a jumble of multiple boards and multiple cables uh, all strung together. And this time I've designed a custom board in this little compact form factor right here. Now the setup is basically the same as last time. Uh, on the back of the CDJ, we've just got power plugged in and the ethernet cable which carries the TouchQ signal. And that goes into the ethernet port here. And then that signal gets decoded, goes through a custom DAC circuit, which is much more high quality than from the previous video, um, and spits the audio out onto an RCA jack, which then can feed into any mixer. And you can see here, I've got it plugged into a Zone 96, and that's the only audio source plugged in here, um, coming into channel one. Now, if you go to the front of the mixer, you can see that on channel one, I've got it set to line in, and I've got the Q enabled. That's basically it. And just a set of headphones connected to the Q output. So let's give this a little demo. So I can come to the CDJ and I can set this playing. Then I can touch Q anywhere. Then you can see I'm getting signal in on channel one. And audio is coming out the headphones. So you can hear here. Now I can also scrub around to a different part and you can hear the audio coming out there. Uh, same as before, it also works in the sort of browse area, so I can just like touch Q here. You can see signal coming out, channel one, and also hear the output 